This is a demonstration of convection. I have a, a, a tube that has a, a circular cross section and it's shaped in the, in the shape of a, of a rectangle. I'm, uh, it's filled with water. I fill it from the top here. I'm going to heat the corner of this rectangle here with this burner and add a little bit of dye so you can see the motion of the, the water during the convection. This is buoyancy driven convection. Why? Because here in this corner the water is going to be hot. It'll expand just like air expands, water expands when it's hot. And once it expands it's going to want to try and rise. So the water will, will rise along here but, but you can't just uh, have this water rise without water coming in to take its place. So we'll get a, a circular convection pattern. That's the hope anyway. So we're beginning to see some motion of the red dye down along this side. Reminds me of a movie I saw in the 70s called The Green Blob that was penetrating all the streets, killing the people. This is the red blob. So most of the dye has made it down around to this corner and it's heading on its way up. This is the, the type of motion that occurs when you heat water uh, on your pan. It's heated from below. The water near the bottom of the pan is closest to the burner, gets the hottest, expands, rises to the top, cools when it makes contact with the top, and then sinks down again to replace the, the water that's just been heated at the bottom. So that's convection, that's motion of, of, uh, of a fluid in response to heating. I think it's kind of pretty. So that's convection.